So OpenAI released a new model called O1 Preview. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and compare O1 Preview to ChatGBT 4.0 for the purpose of answering one question. Is it actually better than 4.0 or are we just getting a reskin here? Let's jump in. You already know how it goes. We're gonna get the exact same prompt to both models and see which output is better. Before I even do that though, let me just point out one big caveat, one big difference between the two models. Notice that within ChatGPT 4.0, we have the attachments feature. This allows us to attach PDFs, images, files, Excel sheets, everything like that. As of now, up to this point, this is not available on the OpenAI 01. So if that's a big deal to you, there you go. Let's actually see which one we like better though. First prompt, we'll do some writing prompts, we'll do some code prompts, we'll do some math prompts, we'll do every type of prompt, all right? Just chill out in the comments. First one, create me 10 social media captions for a dog company called Apple Biscuit Farming Food. ChatGPT 4.0 first, go. Now one thing to note is that with the 4.0 outputs, we're gonna expect instant type of outputs. There's not gonna be a lot of thinking that's entailed. This is 4.0. Same prompt, 01 preview, go. It is thinking. And by it thinking though, it tends to give better outputs here. What's cool is that within the actual thinking dialogue, we can see like, what it was thinking, like what was the thought process for that underlying output, grasping context, crafting dog tree captions, crafting delights. Now between these two outputs here, 4.0, 01, it's not substantially different. I would say that the 01 is a little bit more consistent when it comes to emojis. And on top of that, it did what I asked for where it was just the captions. Alternatively, this one kind of gave some filler text on the top and the bottom. No big differences there. So then your next question might be like, Corbin, where does it shine? Like, where's the big differences incurring here? And that's when it comes to coding. Second prompt, go. Numa zwei. Give me a landing page that is React based for a cut treat called Meow Meow Fish. I, I gotta get some cats some love. You know, you gave the dog, had to get cat. Give me all the code for the JS and CSS file. Don't get lazy on me. All right, 4.0. 4.0. Don't get lazy. Go. We are generating some code. And as a side note, if you want to learn how to code using artificial intelligence, my gosh, you just found the perfect channel. Check me out. I'll show you everything. You don't even need to know how to. You just let AI do it all. Not bad at all. Pretty impressive for 4.0 response here. Pretty extensive. Let's try I1 or O1. Open AI, stop calling this stuff so weird, okay? Just call it like V2. You know, like iOS 8, iOS 9. Do something similar, right? Same prompt, go. Look at this. So we got similar project setup. I do like how it points out file structure, right? Like how it's gonna show up in our repository. Here's the major difference that I'm noticing between a O1 preview and a 4.0 when it comes to code. This isn't bad, but this is bad if you do have little to no experience with coding because you don't necessarily know correct structuring when you create out an app. E.g., it throws it and jumbles it all up into just the app.js and the app.css. This though, breaks it down and makes the structuring pretty good here. In this entire output, we were able to get all these relevant pieces of information given to us, such as the app.css, the hero.js, features.js. I mean, this is very much so that you could take one of these and keep building upon it within the same chat. So plain and simple, you can get a similar output with 4.0 if you knew how to proctor the prompt better, but in general, th this did make coding more easy. O1 preview definitely takes the win here. Next prompt, give me a story of a unicorn and use exactly 750 words here. Cor Cor why are you asking for that, Corbin? Why do you wanna know about a unicorn? Purpose of this is I wanna see if it can follow the direction of 750 words, which in past models, it could not do. So we're gonna let this print out, we're gonna copy it over to a word counter, and see how many. The idea here is that you can kind of relay this to other types of specific instructions you could give a model and see how well it actually follows it to a T. Copy, there we go. 866 words there for the 4.0. Same prompt, O1 preview, go. Here we go, let's go on copy, copy. Oh, we're definitely not there yet. Something to keep in mind, and this actually happens within software development as well, where if you are trying to get a very specific outputs, especially when it comes to the amount of words or the actual underlying structure of the output, it's always best to talk in more general terms. So for example here, we can't necessarily say, give me 750 words. A better way of structuring an output in this context would be like, give me around three paragraphs, around two paragraphs, give me around five sentences. It can follow that kind of ruling better than very exact ruling like 750 words. So both fail the test here. You hear that old one preview? You're not that smart just yet, okay? I said 750. Not a thousand. Put simply, is the quality of outputs better with O1 Preview? The answer is yes, 100%. Does it take longer for those outputs to incur because it's doing a thinking process and then giving the output? Yes, 100%. Therefore, if you want high quality outputs, you need to wait a little bit longer using the O1 Preview model. Alternatively, if you know how to conversate and you're very much an expert on your topic, like you know what's up, use GPT-4.0. You'll get answers faster. You'll be able to gut check more and be like, no, that's the wrong answer. Give it to me like this. Use 4.0 in that context. If you want some of the best AI outputs I've seen in the market, 
use O1 Preview. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. It helps me out here and I'll see you in the next video. What do y'all think? Have you been using O1 Preview? Are you like, yo, I just had to cancel my Claude subscription. Come back to over to ChatGPT. Oh yeah, come back over to ChatGPT. I haven't canceled yet. I've been here since day dot, day one. Those are random videos and I'll see you in the next video.